Hi everyone! So today I went to the YouTube live streamer event for Singaporean creators and I got so inspired that I decided to do a live stream in 10 minutes time. On my way to a live streaming event. So you can pause the video to take a look at the specific tips that were given at this event. But generally, my three main takeaways that I had were Firstly, tailoring the content to grow the community that I want. This event really made me rethink if I needed to rebrand my channel to focus on the niche instead. Because generally, I've just been uploading whatever content I want, which is a mix of travel vlogs and um, career stories. But speaking to the other creators at this event, I feel that even my channel name itself didn't really have much impact. It didn't really signify what my content was about. So one important tip that the presenters mentioned was to ask myself if I was a complete stranger and I looked at my channel, would I actually click into the videos? Yeah, so this has really made me rethink if I should rebrand my channel. And I guess I'm starting with a slight change in channel name, if you realized. The second main takeaway is that YouTube actually has horizontal and vertical live streaming. So Dong ASMR, he actually mentioned that for vertical live streaming, he felt that it had more views but also more trolls, right? Uh, whereas for horizontal live streaming, um, there may be fewer viewers but you can have ads, mid-rolls or even pre-rolls etc. So I guess it depends on how much you want to monetize your live stream as well. The third main takeaway was that even the biggest YouTubers start with low viewers. So Dong ASMR was mentioning about his early live stream journey and that he also only had a few viewers at the start. But the most important thing was to engage with every viewer and treating them like a friend right? and slowly building the live streaming community. I got so inspired that I decided to do a live stream in 10 minutes time uh, and it's going to be my first time doing live on YouTube that day or two days ago I tried doing a live on TikTok to try and sell my clothes and even though I thought it was an interesting experience I think on TikTok because I was selling the clothes it was a lot easier because I had a topic to talk about um, and but this time I think YouTube will be a very different audience perhaps a lot more in international uh, not sure if people will be <laughs> harsher or like more critical but essentially, I think I just kind of want to reach out to more people, build my confidence, and learn to be a better storyteller. Yeah, so I hope that by doing this live stream, it helps me to calm my thoughts down, learn not to be so frazzled. And yeah, essentially, I just uh, kind of want to experience something new, right? And since I have nothing to do on a Friday night, what better way than to talk to some live stream viewers and hopefully you know, um, gain a whole new experience and some learning. So let's see if anyone tunes in. I'll keep you updated. See ya! Hi to my one viewer. <laughs> Do you want to chat to introduce yourself? Um, but essentially today I went to a live stream event in Singapore and yeah, I thought I'll just try out live streaming and see how different it is from the one that I did on TikTok. Hello, where are you from? Cool, like, you are amazing for being able to speak three languages. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks, it was so fun to chat with you. Thank you for joining in the chat. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. And all the best for your studies. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just finished my first YouTube live streaming. I wanted to only stream for like 10 minutes at first, but I can't believe I streamed for like 85 minutes. So crazy, very thankful that people stopped in to chat. Um, yeah, I thought that was quite a fun experience. If I have nothing to do on a Friday night, um, again, maybe I'll do this. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. Um, and now maybe I'll go and do TikTok live streaming. Oof, I don't know how people do two live streams at one shot because dang, that was tiring. 
Um, I managed to sell some clothes today, so that's a plus. Yay! Yep. So, quite glad. Um, I think I will actually continue live streaming. I think it's quite a fun thing to do when I'm bored and I don't want to think too much about other things. Yeah, I'll probably continue live streaming in the future. So, please like and subscribe and follow me. I think it will really help. And come and chat with me during my live streams. Yep. I think... Uh, Give me something to do on a Friday night. Okay, bye guys. See you next time. Bye.